Well, if you're like me, you love a great Navigator sunglass. Well, today we're gonna to talk about the Taka by Masunaga Eyewear as part of their collaboration with home and luxury lifestyle brand, K3. How's everybody doing today? My name is Daniel Brunson. This is the Hicks Brunson Eyewear YouTube channel. On this channel, we like to talk about the fashion of eyewear, lens technology, transitions lenses, all things around eyewear, sunglasses, you name it. If you wanna see more content like that, then hit that subscribe button down below and you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Now, today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite eyewear brands in the world for many years now, a very old company out of Japan called Masunaga Eyewear. And several years back, Masunaga did a collaboration with world-renowned Japanese designer Kinzo Takata. Now, Kinzo Takata founded a luxury home and lifestyle brand that was launched in 2020 called K3. And Masunaga Eyewear has partnered with K3 for the last uh, handful of years to create some very unique eyewear designs uh, that, that in the beginning, Kinzo Takata himself actually designed and the collaboration has moved forward under the K3 luxury home and lifestyle brand. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the Taka. So this is the Taka and it's one of my favorite navigators to come out, a really beautiful design and it is made, we're gonna look at the eyewear, the optical, uh, we're gonna start out talking about the sunglasses, but it comes both as a sunglass and as an optical frame. So the Taka in the sunglass here is in a color that is called gunmetal gold. And it props to the design team on this, this piece here. The K3 collaboration pieces uh, by Masunaga are some of the most detailed that the camera's not gonna be able to capture the details. It's just not. Um, even with, with really good lighting, um, when you look up close, uh, this is what's called arabesque detailing. You have lots of fine engraving work that runs down the side of the temple arms. You have a flower on the tip of the temple. So those are some of the things that make the Kinzo or the K3 collaboration pieces really unique. You have a lot of coining work around the outside edge. Let me see if the camera can focus there. Around the outside edge of the eye wire. What I love about this piece is it has this this in, almost interlocking, this is the gunmetal gold color. So the eye wire is gunmetal, but then it has this interlocking gold piece. And it's really beautiful. So, you know, we talk about frames being double bar because of the bridge here. Well, this one, if you look close, you've actually got a triple bar. You get a little bit of a floating lens area right here. Um, and of course, you know, the full frame being pure titanium, uh, even the nose pads are titanium. So uh, the comfort is just, out of this world, you know, it's a big piece. Uh, it's a great looking piece. The, the polish on the gold rim is incredible. So you have this nice, shiny, very nice looking piece. Um, and then a quick, a quick point on the design of this temple arm. This temple arm has been very commonly seen throughout the Masunaga K3 collaboration. And the backstory is this design here was inspired by a lorgnette handle. So those of you that don't know what a lorgnette is, an opera glass, if, you've, if you know what an opera glass is, it's a set of binoculars that are attached to a, a handle that you can hold right here. If you're sitting up in the balcony, trying to see closer up on the stage when you're at the opera, a lorgnette is an antique opera glass, maybe from a few hundred years ago, a couple hundred years ago, uh, approximately around that time period. Uh, a lorgnette was a very detailed metal uh, opera glass that had a, a nice handle. It's probably made out of gold or definitely gold plated. And so the handles on a lot of those vintage, those, those antique lorgnettes look very similar to this temple arm right here. So this is where the design of the temple arm came from was a lorgnette. Um, so this is, again, this is the Taka and we're going to talk about not only this one, we'll talk about the lenses for just a minute. You know, if you like a good lens, of course, you're going to get that with a Masunaga frame. It does have a gray color lens with a backside anti-reflective coating. It's almost sort of a blue gray. So it's one of those kind of soothing, cool gray tones to look through, just good for a lot of purposes. Of course, if you need prescription lenses, we can accommodate and those can be added to this frame. All right, so let's talk about the Taka in the optical version. So we have two colors here in the optical. 
we have the gunmetal navy or gunmetal blue, and then we have the gold silver. So I'm going to start out with the gunmetal navy. So a lot of fine detail work, just like the sunglass. You can see the coining around the edge. You can see the flower on the tip of the tip, all the arabesque detailing on the temple arm right through here. And I'm getting a little closer here. This is just one of my favorite navigator shape frames. Again, the triple bar detail, very subtle, but very interesting, cool, unique. Um, you know, think like navigator shapes. I made a video about a year ago, maybe on the prominence of this shape in the, the 80s, early 90s. Think office space, think Bill, Bill Lumberg. You know, a lot of guys are walking around wearing this kind of double bar navigator look. Um, that look has its has its time. You can kind of see it's, it's kind of resurfaced over the years, but it always kind of looks like that period to me. Uh, this is a reimagined navigator shape with the triple bar, bars much closer together, the thicker rim. It just elevates it to a level of more of a luxury look, what I think of as more of a luxury and a refined and a Japanese artisanship that you're only going to get with brands like Masunaga, especially as it relates to their collaboration with, with K3. So the Navy gunmetal, uh, beautiful, beautiful colors. I mean, as you can see, if I was gonna get this one for myself, this would be the color that I would go with. I feel like this would probably complement my coloring and my features best. Some people, however, uh, want something that is a little more shiny, a little more dressy, and they may go for the gold. So what I love about the gold silver is how often do you see, you know, usually you see frames that are either silver or gold, in eyewear, I don't see a lot of intermixing of the gold and silver colors. And if I do, you might have a small trim piece of gold somewhere and the rest of the frame is silver. This one here, guys, the, the interplay of the silver and gold is really beautiful because you have the gold outer rim, you have the thick silver inner rim, the gold temple right there with all the detail work love that triple bar up front there just a stunning piece um, this is this is really nice i mean to be clear we're talking about nice eyewear really well made some of the finest quality some of the best japanese artisans made these frames and when it comes to masunaga as i said at the start of the video they're over a hundred year old factory in japan They've got history that goes way back. They made a pair of glasses for the emperor of Japan back when the Japanese people saw the emperor as a god. So, and I have another video on that that I'll link to. That's a fascinating story. Uh, so they have given all of their craft, goes back generations, passed down to the current artisans of today. And so they take making eyewear very seriously. So that's why they, they produce some of the highest quality eyewear in the world, especially when it comes to titanium eyewear. Masunaga is just simply one of the best, if not the best, in my opinion. So hats off to the Taka today as part of the K3 Masunaga collaboration. There's so many more beautiful pieces in this collaboration, and it's a collaboration that very few boutiques around the country and indeed around the world actually carry. You know, Masunaga, the eyewear brand, um, it's been harder to find in general in boutiques around the country, just the flagship Masunaga collection, than when you get into the Kinzo Takata, what is now the K3 collaboration with Masunaga. That's a whole separate collection that an even smaller number of boutiques carry. And the reason for that is they're really special pieces, they're really unique pieces. There's a higher touch to the quality and the craftsmanship and the finishing, and they wanted to make that collection remain a very special collection. So we carry most of the pieces here, and if you want to shop the rest of the Masunaga or the Masunaga K3 collaboration pieces, links available down below. If you have a question or a comment about anything you saw today or a suggestion for an upcoming video, I'd love to see your comments, so drop us one down below or shoot us an email. We'll make all of our contact information available. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video.